after a little work hiatus, I'm back and we're trying to get these soffit trim details finished up. That way I can get all my exposed wood covered and officially be, be dried in, I guess, so to speak, without the siding being on, but I have the house wrap. Um, first piece went up, really happy with how it went up. So I wanna show you guys what I'm doing or how I'm doing the fascia uh, trim panels. And there's what the first piece looks like. These are steel fascia panels, 12 foot lengths. I've bent the end over and what I'll do is, since this is the front part of the building, when I run this piece, I'll bend that over this way. That way I'll hide, be able to hide all the seams. Uh, but a 12 foot piece goes pretty far. And what I'll do is trim out this bottom piece, open the hem up, and I'm gonna slide these in again. I'm, I'm sliding these together so all my seams face the back of the building. That way when you pull in from the front, you're not looking down and, and seeing the seams, it'll look more like one solid piece all the way down. To fasten them, I'm just putting some small screws in the bottom. And these are like a special uh, steel to wood trim screw. You can kind of see it right there. And I'm not gonna put a bunch of them in there because the drip edge is holding, the drip edge is holding the top from coming out and these screws are just holding this small piece of sheet metal up in there. And I don't wanna overdo it and, you know, cause problems with the, the steel expanding and contracting with the weather. So I'm just putting a couple in there. Probably just put one on the end, one in the middle and then one on the end here to tie both of these pieces together. Uh, so it shouldn't, shouldn't take much, but I wanna show you these screws cause they're a little different. So this is my trim screw. They're just a small, uh, like a, I don't even know if they're like an inch, inch and a quarter screw, but they have this little um, cutting edge here that kind of hones the hole out when you put it in and they're, they're very sharp on the end so they go through the steel pretty well flat pancake head and it's the color is matched it's a bright white to match the trim but uh, that's what I'm using to hold it in and I, I think this this end here will hone the hole out that way when it expands and contracts you're not going to get that oil can effect and, I, and I'm not putting these in real tight either I'm just snugging them up and then backing them out just a little bit just to hold that steel up there Shouldn't, shouldn't take much. Okay, so this end is going to slide into the piece that I already have up there. So what I'm gonna do is cut this back just a little bit. As you can see, these have a, have a hem on them. So I'm gonna cut this hem off. These are really flimsy too, so you have to be careful moving them. They're real easy to bend because of the length so i'm going to cut this hem off and this will slide i'll open the hem up on the other one and it'll slide slide in there there and that that should slide right up in there nice and give me a nice tight fit finished look
other end. That's just a little bit way so I don't know. This is gonna be hidden, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I do want it to go in there smooth, so I'm just gonna kind of flatten this out there a little bit. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm not drawing a line on it because this is all hidden. Just need to take a little bit off. Man, that is the way to go. Those are slick. Way easier than using the hand snippers to rip, rip a piece. And right here is my end trim detail. So I've basically just done an inch and a half fold. I used my square and just folded it over snipped it around so we got a nice finished piece now let's get this up And that's how I'm doing the end, just bending it around. And then this piece will come down. And I was going to attempt to bend it around. Uh, it didn't work too well on the other side. So I just cut it off flush and then put a screw, a small screw in the bottom of it. And that's what it looks like. Uh, you can see at the very bottom, I had to trim that nub off. But uh, just like I did with the, uh, the fascia boards when I put them in there. But I think it looks pretty good. I, I still like this look a little better than having the uh, bird box look on the end. And that should keep me weather tight as well. If you notice on this peak detail, I took the other piece off on the left-hand side, and that's because I wanted the piece to carry through, as you can see there, past the center to help uh, seal that up so there wasn't any uh, spot for prone to leaks. I also put a little dab of caulking uh, in between those two pieces just to kind of help seal things up uh, to prevent water from getting behind there. And I, I think that'll provide me again with another waterproof uh, connection there between the two pieces of steel.
I am happy this is complete. Done working on a ladder for a while. Up next, Versetta Stone. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, follow along on the build.